we getting into life on this breakdown. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Bobby Foster here. Right now, we are going over Summer Walker's song Session 32. And the question we have is what? What makes this song good? And we're going to answer that. So stick around and let's just get into it. And you know what it is. This is Foster, the knowledge, a channel of music, conversation, and community. Best place to join the conversation is in the Discord. And the best place to support the community is the Patreon. The Patreon comes with all of my unedited full reactions, exclusive content, and more. So definitely check that out. And now... It's time for the music. Finally got you out my bed, but I still can't get you out my head. Love that line. I finally got you out of my bed, but I still can't get you out of my head. I feel like that is just such a relatable line that talks about how, yeah, you can end a physical relationship with somebody, but then they just stick around in your mind afterwards for who knows how long, right? That's such a line. Also, like I've heard session 33 before I heard session 32. And I just love the stripped down just guitar version with Summer Walker singing over it. It does something to me. I like that. I like that vibe. You don't know. Mm, you don't know. I love the last line of this chorus. And I need you to know. You don't know. Because she could be referring to uh, a lot of different things with that you don't know part. It, like, is it he doesn't know how to love. He doesn't know how she feels. He doesn't know what he put her through. Like, it just leaves a lot of uh, that the audience can kind of take on their own interpretation of that line. So I like that. Also, it shows the conflict because in the verse, she's saying she's not too proud to beg. So it's like she wants him back. But then in the chorus, she just wants to tell him all this stuff like, you know, he doesn't know what love is and everything. So it shows that kind of conflict of emotions right there. You don't know what love is if you too good to call a million times. This is an interesting verse. You know, she's basically talking about how he's resigned. That's what it sounds like. He doesn't want to put up a fight. Uh, he's not emotional about it ending because he's not staying up all night crying. Um, you know, he's not trying, like, he's too proud to beg, basically, to have her back. And I feel like there's actually a lot of projection happening on this verse because this is, like, her definition of love that she wants to see from him. He may ex express love in, like, a different way, but we all do this. We all kind of project our version of love outwards and expect other people to meet us how we want to be loved, which is fine, but you got to express that first, you know, communication. But this, this verse so far sounds like projection. But I swear you never seen it in your life. Ooh. Mm. See, that's what I'm saying. He's probably never seen her version of love, like what she wants, because everyone has their own concept of what love is, right? And it seems like their concepts just butt heads and don't make sense together. We getting into life on this breakdown. <laughs> I swear you never seen it in your life. Yeah. Love that unedited vibe. I love that unedited vibe. I feel like if you're a singer, you can get away with something like that, right? Because it's about your vocals and how beautiful your voice sounds. Obviously, if you rap and stuff, I mean, you could do it. You could. I just feel like it works for singers better, in my opinion. But of course, a rapper could prove me wrong. But anyway, so now that I've heard the song, I want to see some other people's opinions about it. All right, so what I'm seeing on Twitter is a bunch of great feedback. You know, you got these four tweets in a row here, and this is this year in 2022. People still talking about this song years later, saying that this song is amazing, basically. Stuck her whole foot in it. Then you go to, you know, here you got someone saying session 32 and 33 is amazing. But then you got right here someone saying that 33 doesn't hit as much as 32. I think, and just from comments I've seen on my own channel, I feel like most people really, really, really enjoy Session 32 because I've gotten so many requests to do this video before. And I feel like I totally understand why fans of Summer Walker love Session 32. And it's because it is so stripped down and personal. Like this is a fan song. If you love Summer Walker, you want to hear this song because it just feels so personal. It's like you're in the studio with her, right? So I feel like that's what this song and Session 33 have going for it. It just like builds that connection, right? So I feel like that's definitely 
uh, one of the things that makes the song stand out. I also think the humanity is one of the great aspects of this track because it's filled with conflict of human emotion. And like I've said that listening to um, Over It and Still Over It, I feel like that's something that Summer Walker does very well is paint both sides of what's going on. Like, I love you and I hate you. Like when it comes to these problems in relationships, right? We all have a million different emotions going on when it comes to relationships. And I feel like Summer Walker captures a lot of that conflict that we feel internally when it comes to a relationship going south. So I feel like that's present in this song as well. Another thing that I think works very well uh, with this song is that Summer Walker just has a beautiful voice. So when you strip away like all of the production and you just leave her with a guitar, she can still make a song sound great because her voice is amazing, right? And then also the stripped down nature of the song, like I'm saying, just makes it feel very personal and the lyrics are very personal, right? And then also the way that she started the song was great. Threw away your love letters, I thought it would make me feel better. So you get this concept of she's trying to get over him, but she can't. That's kind of the conflict that she's dealing with the whole entire song. And that's like right there in the first line. So it's very gripping from the get go. Honestly, for the song it is, I don't really know if I have a critique as far as things I would change to make it better. Um, because it's not really like a true song as far as like song structure. Uh, it's kind of like an interlude, right? That's what I'm saying. Like this is a song for her fans. This is like a little uh, piece of something that like will just make you feel closer to her as a fan. That's what I get from this. And I mean, the verses were good. The singing was good. Chorus was good. Outro was fine. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's really anything to add to this, in my opinion. I'm sure like people would want it to be longer, right? But that just means it's great how it is and it has replay value. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have anything to say to necessarily make it better, which is, you know, kudos. So yeah, here are my highlights uh, from the song. Number one, uh, the stripped down nature of it and putting her voice in the forefront. I feel like that's a great decision. And I feel like with Summer Walker, she should never be overproduced. Like you don't want to take her voice away. You know what I'm saying? You don't want the beat to overshadow her voice. Number two, I like how it kind of shows all sides of human emotions during a relationship. Number three, the specific line, I finally got you out of my bed, but I still can't get you out of my head. I just feel like that is basically the thesis of the whole entire song. And it's just lines that do a lot of work. So I really appreciate that line. So these highlights have the foster the knowledge stamp. Go ahead and screenshot this and share it around if you agree with these points or want to show support for Summer Walker. All these artists deserve love and support. So we did it. We found out what was good with the song. And you know what it is. This is Foster the Knowledge, a channel of music, conversation, and community. Go ahead and join that Discord and the Patreon. Until next time, I'll see y'all.